Hi everyone, welcome to SPACI 3 master class tutorial. In this lecture, we are going to study how you can identify sentence boundary using a SPACI. In previous lectures, we have seen how SPACI do the tokenization parts of speech tagging and dependency parsing. All these things we have seen previously, but we have not seen if a paragraph, uh, I mean to say that if a text data is a paragraph that means a paragraph have a multiple sentences so how these multiple sentences are divided into the sentences and then parts of speech tagging and uh, uh, the dependency parsing is done on the sentences individual sentences all right so here i have uh, taken this example paragraph this paragraph is recent news which says that tap to pay on iPhone is set to compete against the existing iPhone payment systems. Then it will let small businesses accept NFC contactless payments through the supported iOS app. All right, so all these are paragraph is, cons is consist of sentences. All right, so overall you can say the sentence detection or sentence boundary detection is the process where you locate start and the end of the sentence there. This will allow you to divide these sentences, these paragraph into the sentences where you can do the parts of speech tagging, parsing and dependency parsing, any are extraction, all these sentence by sentence. All right, enough of talking. Let's go ahead and uh, start, uh, you know, uh, doing sentence boundary detection. So first of all, as usual, you have to do the import spacy. If you are watching this video in continuation of previous videos, then you may not need to do this one. Uh, but if you have stopped this video previously and you are starting this lecture on a new day, then of course you need to do this. Thereafter, as uh, previously we have been doing here, you can load your uh, SPACI English language model there in a new term, which is uh, a new object, which is NLP there. All right, so this object is loaded there. Let's go ahead and get the doc object. So I get here a doc object is equal to NLP. And inside that, I put my paragraph sentence here. All right, this whole paragraph I put there. So now I got here a doc object, a uh, spacy doc object. Mm -hmm. Now you can get uh, original sentence if you just print here this doc. Otherwise, you can put here dot dot text there you will get this original sentence there all right this one is in encoded format otherwise you just put it here a doc this whole sentence will come here but if you put here list all right since this one is iterator that means it it, it is the consist it, it has so many you know uh, tokens and the sentences so if you do here like list you will get all the tokens in the form of the list do you remember previously we did there the tokenization something like this so you are getting uh, not like this uh, maybe uh, sometimes back we did that all right that's linguistic annotation here this one is the tokenization so that was the text token then like that so all the text was divided into individual tokens that's what happened here if you just put their list and doc right here a for loop you don't need actually and you can also do it like here sent you provide this sent you will be getting hash value here uh, since uh, we actually uh, don't need these uh, sorry it's sends actually this is sentences that's uh, sends here all right so these are the sentences now do you see there these are the sentences here all the sentences we are getting here you can uh, say like this sends and then you can get here the send length of the sentences so it, it it divided into a length of three sentences there and uh, simply you can do like this for sent in sense all right then you just print here this sentence here all right so it says that it has one sentence here this one considered as one sentence thereafter there is another sentence and there this one is the last sentence you see here a new line because uh, I had given here a new line so that you can see this whole, uh, you know, the paragraph there. 
otherwise if it is a, like a raw text format then of course it would be something like this a straightforward one paragraph you just simply run this once again all this and now you will see here clearly just a three sentence so the first sentence is this another one is this and then the last sentence you have this one now based on these sentences you can uh, like in a previous lecture we did our uh, you know the dependency parsing and rest of other things you can do now the sentence by sentence right do you see there this one is considered as one sentence if you put everything here in one code then you take this one sentence at a time and then you do your parts of speech tagging and dependency parsing sentence by sentence all right perfect so this is all about in this lecture in the next lecture we will be covering what is the stop words